All right, 2022, the tool trailer's not gonna uh, change much this year. We're just gonna have it make money. In case you're wondering, I'll link it in the description. I've probably said it a couple times in this video already. All the tours, everything like that, it's gonna be in the description. Hasn't changed too much. Added a couple things here and there, but that's basically it. Uh, if you're wondering, you could look up Ron Polk. That's the design for this trailer. With I obviously modified a little bit to fit my needs like you should with yours. So let's get into the trailer. All right, so 2022, not much is gonna change this year. We're gonna focus on profit and getting leaned out, but we'll go everything. I do have, I'll link in the description, the complete tour of pretty much everything in here. I'm not going through everything in this video because it'd be an hour long, but you can watch those videos if you want to, links in the description. Uh, we'll just get into, you know, how, how it's been working out and what I'm, if I changed anything at all uh, for this year and mostly no, but you know, we'll, we'll go through it here. This side, obviously you can see, um, just long, you know, I keep two by fours, a bunch of stands. These are for my Polk station, you know, a bunch of uh, saw horses for everything. I am going to get rid of the uh, Lowe's ones or keep those out of here because I do like the tough system. Um, saw horses, those seem to work a little better. Plus, they're a little more durable, not going to lie. Uh, plumbing, don't use much of it, but we still have it. Painting, electrical, and then demo down there. And then you've got your levels. Got a couple of levels on job sites. A bunch of other long, long stuff. Um, dust wall posts all that kind of stuff there as well and then uh this is where the polk station it's my minor station stays there uh you got the table saw rack right here and then yeah that's the 12 inch that's the table saw that's where it stays this is what charging station hasn't changed everything here is pretty much the same it's, it's you know it's, it's so we work out of this thing so it's going to be messy it's you know try to keep it this is my slush fun <laughs> or slush area where you know you got pencils that go you know where they're supposed to go but I mean, it, it, you know, get, everything gets used here. So up top, we've got track saw. We've got the uh, 55 inch. We've got the 118 inch. I can't remember. And I do have a 30, 35 inch or something I got to put in here as well. I got a special on that a couple months ago. I just haven't installed it. But uh, that's, yeah, charge station working out great. Everything here, batteries, you know, this is just run the mill here for this trailer. All the tools, cubbies, everything's working good. Um, you know, I've got, you know, well, there, there's a lot of tools that are on job sites and stuff, but you got your impacts, you got everything, you got your saws. Uh, we've got uh tough system. These are my small, you got sock, you got the sockets here, you got self tappers, you got washers, you got machine screws, and you've got the small uh, screws as well. And that's because I just, just because of the small profile, I can fit, you know, multiples. I don't need 8,000 small, small self talpers, but I do need to keep everything organized. And again, we got zip ties. Oh, uh, we got masks, you know, some, uh, angle finders, some basic stuff, run the mill, no light in here. Sorry, but, uh, safety glasses, you know, anything I need, extra, uh, multimeter. Uh, we got some GRKs that are out of place. All my gloves. I got these ones you can find. These are like Menards for like five bucks a piece. So it's, you know, you can buy those pretty cheaply. And then up front, it's hard with a V nose anyway. So I've, I've messed with it a little bit. Battery banks down there. And then we've got just a bunch of bulk tools here. The miter saw, vacuum. And then I do have this workstation, which is fantastic. It just lays here, but I will be making a spot where it can just like, it can hang here because that's probably the best spot for it. I don't need to access my inverter and all my stuff down here. I can just <clears throat> kind of close it off a little bit. Control station, more stuff. I keep most of my uh, admin stuff up here, but obviously where it's uh, the beginning of the year, so it's in my office. We're we're gonna we're going through it all. So more tool storage. Uh, this is probably the first thing I ever did on this trailer. Still working out good. Um, and this is probably one of the best things as far as having multiple um, hundred, you know, over a hundred uh, separate bins of whatever I need. This is basically small parts. That's, that's what I like about it. So paper towel storage up top. I mean, that's great. Ladder, it stays there, uh, which I like. I, I carry a six footer there. Very nice. Obviously I keep, uh, uh, we'll go outside, but I keep the uh, uh, the bigger ladders up, up top, but it's nice having a six footer everywhere you go. And broom storage. I haven't found a good spot. I try to tuck them back in there. I only keep one broom, but um, yeah, so I, I know there's two in here anyway. So over here we got, obviously you guys can see if we can zoom out a little bit. There we go. 
Again, tool store, cubby storage. We've got um, just, you know, prepping supplies, buckets. Um, I don't know what's down there. I haven't even looked down there in a while. So it is what, it, you know, whatever there's down there is down there. We got drop cloths. We got some more drop cloths over there as well. Yeah. And then all these, um, you got your, your, you got your bins of you know, bits and, you know, everything down here. Again, in, in the video, I'll link in there. It's fantastic. Uh, it'll go through it, pretty much everything in there. Got the trash bin, which is great. Having a trash bin on, you know, just in the trailer. I like these little, uh, I don't know, I think it's like a 30 gallon. I'm not sure exactly, but it's so nice. It fits right in there. Boom. Always have, you always have, you know, trash. It's, it's great just to keep things thrown away. <laughs> so not sloshing around everywhere. So, all right, let's go outside and we will talk about, all right, ladders. We got the 32 foot new one up there, 10 uh, or 12 foot A-frame, 16 foot. And that is all I have up there right now. I do have another eight footer, but that's at my house. And that's basically it guys. I mean, that's, that's how it's what we're running with. And of course we got the new 450, but I'm not sure if you guys already saw the uh, updated video on that one, but we took a big road trip and yeah, it's been working out fantastic. So uh, solar is still working out great. Uh, keeps everything pretty much topped off for lights anyway so i can't really do a hard use um if i'm doing basic uh work it's fine i can turn the inverter on and we can charge stuff up but if i'm running it all day all you know it's it's not gonna the solar is not it's only 330 watts so it's uh just above trickle charge for the batteries we have 690 amp hour batteries in there or worth of batteries so that's it guys quick trailer this is what we're working with this year um yeah i mean it's, <laughs> we're not suffering by any means but you know, room for upgrades, but not this year. We are just going to have this thing make money for us. That's it. That's all we got. Like and subscribe, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.